Kate, given what occurred to you, for people who are not, not uh, familiar with uh, December 18th, uh, how would you describe, in, in a nutshell, what you went through? Um, terror, debilitating terror, being held at knife point for 30 minutes, being bound and gagged, simultaneously being stabbed with a machete while watching an uh, innocent American Christian woman being hacked to death before my eyes, walking back a mile with over 30 broken bones and 13 machete wounds, later facing my would-be murderers in court. I think I've been through uh, extensive trauma. People would imagine that you would be on a crusade against the, the culture uh, which motivated this attack. Okay, let, let me clarify, okay? Because when I, when I face these uh, murderers in court, I, I was so, uh, what can you say? They were so banal, you know, they were smirking and yawning and the rage inside me, you know? But I, I told myself, I don't want to become like them. But what do I want to clarify? I do not forgive people who have no remorse and who would do the same thing again if they're let out. But that does not mean that I hold with contempt or hate every Arab or Muslim. That's simply not true. Uh, it was an Arab-Israeli surgeon who saved my life. And later on, I, I reached out, it's a well-known story, I reached out to an Israeli Arab Muslim teenager, Muhammad Zawabi. I hid him in my house at the risk of my own life. I have a, a tattoo here from an Arab Christian. It's the Modani Lefanecha. I give thanks to you. I, yeah, sure. A tattoo here that an Arab did on me. Uh, I'm, I'm wonderful friends with the noble Israeli priest, Father Gabriel Nadaf. Uh, I have Arab friends who live in Judea and Samaria. So no, I'm not on a crusade against any individual, but I am on a crusade against state-sponsored institutionalized hatred, which is rampant in the Palestinian Authority. And that's what has to stop. Are you saying the Palestinians are brainwashed by their government? Absolutely. I mean, not everyone, obviously, because I've, I've met some uh, amazingly decent people who want to carry on with their own lives. But uh, the, the incitement, it's, or the messaging rather, let's call it that, it's in their media, their crossword puzzles, their music, their summer camps. Uh, it's in every fabric of their society. And also by a reward system of uh, rewarding these, uh, rewarding murderers with a prison salary. Is that money coming from the West, Europe and North America? It's coming, yes, it's coming from the United States, from your taxpayers' money. It's coming from the European Union. But thank God, the last few weeks, uh, there was some success in the, a campaign where the British government decided to suspend funding to the Palestinian Authority. So that's what I want to do this year. I want to make sure that the good, great American public do the same. Because that's the only way we're going to make our region a better place. Do you feel uh, an aversion now to, to staying in Israel? Do you feel it's unsafe for you there? Let me illustrate, and I hope I don't offend anybody. Is Israel unsafe? I've just been on a speaking tour here in the United States, and I sat outside my hotel once, one day, and there was a, a fast food restaurant that shall remain anonymous. And this really large man sits next to me and he has a choco pie, a double cheeseburger, a, a milkshake, and I tell him I'm from Israel, and with a mouthful of, of poison, he asked me if Israel is unsafe. Get the point? It's like, you know, there's, how can it be unsafe? There, it's, if you're talking about Islamic terrorism, Islamic terrorism affects every single society. It's affecting Europe. It's affecting the United States. There was a, there was a, a terror attack here in 2012. Yeah, two... Remember, two men, I mean one gunman, 2002, two people were killed, shot, no, they weren't killed, they were murdered by an Islamic gunman who shot them dead at the El Al desk. Islamic terrorism is rampant and we need to have the courage not to be politically correct and work towards a just solution which, which means stopping the funding of terrorism. Whether it be the Palestinian Authority, whether it be Iran, you know, their, their options are endless. How about pushing Israel to cede territory, strategic territory, for a Palestinian state? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just me. I'm never going to be a politician. Uh, I, I only work in the circumference of my own environment, so uh, those things are beyond me. What, uh, 
What cause will you be pursuing now that, that you're going back? Uh, I'm going to uh, carry on trying to stop this funding of terrorism, uh, the funding of the Palestinian Authority. And also I'm going back uh, to, do, to participate in a conference by an organization called Imtirtsu, if you wish it, it will not, you know, the saying by Herzl. And it's a hum human rights conference, and it includes Israel's minorities. You know, we'll have Christians there, Druze, Muslims, Jewish people, and these minorities too, they want to be more integrated into our Jewish state, and they are an integral and very wonderful part of our society. So that's what I'm going to do. Watch out for Imtirtsu. i got to get on a plane. i got to get on a plane. Thank you, YouTube.